our YouTube. It's me bothering everybody as usual. I'm um, doing a reloading video here. This is a Lee Classic Turret Press. Um, I'm doing it for the Colorado State Steel Pistol Challenge. You can see some of the photos here. That's what I've been up to lately when I've not been doing that gunsmithing course, which is kicking my ass to the point where I had to go out and buy a lever action one night. Um, but I'm done with that, so I'll be making videos again. Um, so, a lot, of, a lot of questions asked about reloading, man. Uh, one of them is, do you really save enough money when you reload? All right, these are, this is Missouri lead right here. These bullets, you get it on MissouriBullets.com. Reloading these and picking up other people's brasses at the range. Um, and with as low as a, of a powder charge as I use, I'm paying about 10 bucks for 100 rounds of 45 ACP. All right, I load this stuff very low recoil. This is set to give me 4.8 granules of powder with a 200 grain bullet. Very low recoil, almost like shooting a 22. You have to do that. Why do you have to do that? Because everybody else is doing that. You're shooting against them, and they're at a, they're at an advantage, and you're not. So it, you you really got to reload like crazy. So I set my uh, press up, kind of like a progressive. I put the pole in there, and now it, it's it's. It's working like uh, a turret like it's supposed to, but I'll go ahead and go through this and show you also how easy it is to reload. This is the decapping die. This is a powder charge die, bullet seat, and bullet crimp. I raise bullet in the ramp. It knocks the old primer out. I put a new primer on the primer arm, seat it, charge it, just put powder in there. When I bring it down, notice the turret is automatically rotating to the next die. Seat the bullet, crimp the bullet, and that's it. Just like that, I've got a low recoil competition ready, 45 ACP for my for my Kimber. All right. Um, on Saturday, on next Saturday is when that uh, competition is, and I'm gonna get a shit ton of footage put a pretty badass video out especially because I haven't done nothing uh, done nothing in a while I'll probably do it to that song Back in Black by ACDC you know uh, one of the biggest things with reload man is uh, if you can carry a conversation while you're doing it it'll go by pretty quick like I'm bullshitting with you guys right now and at the same time I'm making bullets before I know it I'll be done I'll have a, enough of what I need to shoot action pistol this is the last action pistol this month, and I'm pretty sad. Or, or for August is the last one, and it starts up back up in a couple months. Pretty sad about that, but pretty excited because I'm gonna get into some three gun, looking to get a helmet cam, and uh, do some some pretty sweet videos for that. Um, give everybody some pointers and whatnot. So yeah, as you can see, I just loaded a couple rounds pretty quick. I got some time, so I'll keep going. Yeah. Colorado is way too hot for a New Yorker like me, man. I am sucking. If you guys have any questions and, and you're really considering getting uh, this press, if you got any questions at all, I am me, man. I'll answer any questions. Let you know what you need to get because there's just some things that they don't mention. Like uh, for reloading pistol, you need a, uh, if you're going to have a safety prime like I'm using, you need an extender to lift your powder up. Otherwise, it will run into the fucking uh, the safety prime system here. This powder, when it turns around, it'll bump into it. So you need an extender and little questions like that man if something's not working or anything like that uh let me know fucking federal brass it needs uh small primers which is weird so this all goes pretty quick man and i mean it'll put you at a huge advantage huge advantage reloading and the amount of money you save it makes it I mean, you, you're going to get more trigger time. You can't complain 
uh, there. Everybody needs a little bit more sugar time. Cool thing about the Lee Classic Turret Press is you can have multiple turrets. This one here is set for 556 five, uh, max grade. By max grade, uh, you see the you notice there's a funnel and not an auto powder dispenser like that. It's because I will measure every charge that goes into a bullet and then drop it into this funnel. And this would be if I was loading Sierra Max King boat tail hollow points. I like the 69 grain. I just shoot them through my H bar. It's pretty much sniper uh, ammo in a 5.56. And but sometimes when I just load the 55 grain full metal jackets, I'll take this off. You can unscrew this, and I can hook up that same powder dispenser to this and uh, load my 5.56. It, it's that simple, man. Um, one time, Lee accidentally sent me a three hole, and I called them, and uh, they sent me. Uh, four hole uh, free of charge. So I, I was pretty happy with their customer service. Um, I'll show you guys some books real quick from that Ashworth gunsmithing course. I just dropped some damn boxes of cereal, but oh, you get uh, you get in your packages come like this. You get one, it's three. And there's four and then all these had tests in them and it was ridiculous uh, after you get done with one book you get another uh, group of books but it had uh, there was there would be books along with that these are the books that hold your tests in them most of the time if you're lucky uh, everything that was on that test was covered in that book but towards the end there you it, it came with a separate book um, a gunsmithing book and you had to go through that book and find stuff and and then um, learning about guns through books is kind of hard like I said before I had to go out and buy a lever action man it was but I'm done now and so I'll be making more videos and more rounds very good. pretty easy man very low recoil I got a hundred of it over there. The Lee Classic Terror Press, this will cost you under, um, I want to say under, for everything, under 200 bucks. Uh, the, the press kit, don't be, don't be fooled, it will come, it'll be about 140 on Amazon and it'll tell you it's everything you need to start reloading, but it won't come with dies. So make sure you order the dies for those specific bullets. And then if you got any questions or anything, remember I am me, but also um, you can Google it and also Google videos, go on YouTube. And that's how I learned how to reload pretty much is going on YouTube and uh, watching other people reload. And I went with what I thought was a reasonable speed and also... Um, didn't seem very complicated and uh, that's why and also price wise man Lee's stuff is very inexpensive I had this this uh, die for or this press for a while and it works fine don't have no problems with it everything all I mean everything is made in America it's pretty sturdy metal and nothing I don't think I couldn't fix that's it that's all I got pretty much. Um, be looking out on my channel because there's going to be some pretty badass videos here soon of uh, some action pistol events. Alright. I'll check you guys later. Here you, you can, uh, I'm going to pan out. I'll show you my uh, reloading area. Make sure you got plenty of light. You see there's a damn lining the shit out of you. There's a, uh, a lamp over there and a lamp over here. Uh, I got all this all this stuff. This this uh, magazine holder or whatever out of the thrift store for like nine bucks. I got those lamps for like five. Those were like five bucks each. And uh, that's that lever gun I bought for the uh, gunsmithing course. 
and helped me out. And then I bought this box thing, which holds a lot of gunsmithing stuff. So, all right. Check you guys later, man.